Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will be continuing our project building Luigi's Pizzeria website. In the previous video, we created the prices page for the website. And in this video, we'll be adding content to the contact page. So let's get started. In the contact.html file, let's add our boilerplate. Let's update the title to say Luigi's Pizzeria, save, and let's navigate to the contact page. You should see a blank page with the title of the tab updated to say Luigi's Pizzeria. Let's add an H1 heading, a navigation bar, and a background image. This is going to be the same as the ones we added in the previous pages. So let's copy and paste it from the prices.html file. So scroll up a little bit. Let me grab from the H1 down to the line break after the background image. Copy that. Paste it inside the body tags. Save. And you should see now see that on the contact page. Next, let's add a H2 subheading with the text, contact us. And let's add an H3 subheading with the text, restaurant location. Then let me add a couple of paragraph tags with the address. This is a made up address because I am really not sure if there is a 100 Main Street in Italy, but I'm going to assume there isn't one. We add a couple of line breaks. And after that, let's get started on our actual form. So in the form, We'll be asking for name, email, a couple of survey questions about pizza, a comment box, and also have a submit button. Start off with the form tag. And inside the form tag, let's start off with the name field. Let's give it a label. And this is gonna be for name. And the text is going to say name. And the input field is going to be text, which is the default. Give it a name of name and an ID of name. Let me add in a couple of line breaks so that it looks distinctly separate from the next field. Next one we're going to add is email. Let me add a comment here, as well as a comment for the name. And the label for this is going to be email. Email input type is going to be email name is going to be email id is going to be email and next let me add a survey question on how much um how much the customer enjoys the pizza to do that first asking the question did you enjoy your pizza then i'm going to use some radio buttons with options like yes no and na you know that, that's the emmet shortcut by the way so it's input colon slash the type or colon type 
this one, I'm going to give it a name of enjoy. ID of enjoy. I'm going to add a value of yes. And the text is going to say yes. And then let me copy and paste this three times. I mean, two more times, actually. Change this one to no. Change the text to say no. And this one will be NA. Change the value to NA. Don't worry so much about the value here for now. This uh, will become more valuable when we start looking at JavaScript. Next, let me add the survey question about what kinds of pizzas the customer has tried. The question is, which pizzas have you tried? I'm going to use checkboxes for this because the user might pick several different. The type checkbox, the name is going to be pizzas. Right. It's going to be pizzas. The value for the first one is going to be cheese. The text is going to be cheese. We save that. So you see the previous survey question and the new one. I'm going to copy and paste this two more times for the other two pizzas. Change the value to mushroom. Change the text to mushroom. Last one to pepperoni. Change the value to pepperoni. Save. The next, I'm going to add a comment box. That's let me add a couple of line breaks to give it some space from the previous um, survey question. It looks a little bit better. For the comment box, I'm going to use a text area. Give it a name of comments, ID of comments. Make this a little bit wider, set that to 50. And I'm going to shrink, shrink the height a little bit by making this five. Looks a little bit better. Add a couple of line breaks. And let me finish the form with a submit button. And there's a couple ways to do this. The way I'm going to show is using the input. It's going to be input, and it's going to be of type submit. And the value is going to be submit. When I save, you're going to see the submit button here. Then to finish off the page, I'm going to add our footer after the form, which is again our copyright 2023, all rights reserved. And there you have it. We've successfully created the contact page for Luigi's Pizzeria. And with that, you've completed the HTML part of this pizzeria project. In later videos, we'll style this website and make it look even better after we've gone over some CSS. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below.